Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be going over the next two settings um, which will be part three of the Magic Lantern uh, firmware walkthrough. So the next two settings are going to be we're going to be going over today is going to be focus which will be a pretty fast little video there's not a lot to go over in the focus as well as display again not a lot to go over there we've kind of gone all, over all the heavy stuff um, but we're going to go over these two and then if we have a little bit of time we'll go over these last two settings which really isn't a lot there either as well. So let's dive right into it. Um, the first thing is going to be trap focus. Now what trap focusing is is where you are focusing on different multiple items. So if say I have a let's say a 430 EX flash way at the end of my table and in the middle of the table I have a pot and then in the foreground right in front of the camera we have a candy bar let's say now trap focusing is setting it up so you can hit the banana the pot and the candy bar and all get them in focus one at a time not all at once so this is a this trap focus thing is set up really for photography more than videography and this is a, this whole entire magic lantern walk through uh, 2.3 is really about the videography so we're going to kind of skip right past the trap focus again if you want to read a little bit about it you have your up here it says uh, info uh, hit your info button. I'm going to go on and hit my info button and it's going to go through and kind of explain a few things on how to use it. So if I wanted to turn trap focus on, uh, it says, let's see here, hold the AF button. You need to hold down the auto focus button, half shutter or AF on depending on your settings. So you're going to have to have your auto focus on. Again, the auto focus with the camera, it's very noisy. Actually, I'll go on and turn it on and see if you guys can hear it here. Uh, Turn the autofocus on here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mic off, so it's going to get a little crackly for a second. I apologize, and I'm going to just put the mic. Here's the mic I'm using, and uh, as you can hear, you're going to get some some noise. Um, it's not horrible, um, but it's not doing a lot of focusing because there isn't a lot to focus. If we take it way out of focus let's see here forced out of focus if you guys can hear that and it's quite noisy again it's going to go up my shirt and i'm going to reattach it to my shirt here so i apologize for any of the noise there in the last couple seconds so as you can hear it's kind of loud the autofocus and that's why i don't use autofocus i keep my lens on manual focus at all times especially shooting video when it comes to photography um, i do use the autofocus um, a lot more as well as I keep the IS off, um, image stabilizing. If, I have, if I'm using a shotgun mic that is going to be on the camera, I will go on and turn off uh, the image stabilization. Now, when I, am, when I have a mic off the camera, um, I'm going to be far enough away to where the mic isn't going to pick up the image stabilization noise. I will go on ahead and, uh, and turn image stabilization on because you're going to get a little bit better picture quality. So next thing is your focus patterns. Again, this is another photography thing. If we wanted to hit, you can, uh, you can turn it on here. Uh, we can hit the info button. We could read up on it a little bit if we wanted to. Uh, here's just, these, these are just different focus patterns you can set up with. Again, I, just, I pick the focus patterns I want to use, uh, especially when it comes to photography. If you say it says custom focus patterns, which can be used either with autofocus or trap focus. So, so these are some custom focus patterns that you can use. Now again, if I was to throw this thing into uh, manual here, so we'll go on and throw it into manual and photography real quick just so I can show you guys. Well, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to hit the, the plus button, which is the plus and minus buttons, which are over here up in the far right corner. Um, so you guys can see here the buttons right up here. Um, and I'm going to hit those, and then you can set you know you have different focus patterns so what this does is what the focus patterns does is give you a little more in depth because you can only pick you can't do multiple patterns again let's hit info here so you can see um, you can have these focus patterns pre-set up so I've got this in focus and then these patterns right here where before you could have them all in focus or you can do only single patterns at a time with magic lantern it allows you to work with multiple different patterns which is actually really cool so we'll go back out here. Uh, next is going to be your follow focus arrows. Again, this is kind of a cool little thing, but it is again noisy, so this is why I do not use it. 
Um, I really don't use anything in Focus. Um, I don't actually use any, any functions with Magic Lantern that has to do with Focus. Um, any, anything out of here, I actually do not use. So again, so we've got, I've got turn on to arrows. So we're gonna go in here. Um, for this to work, if I remember correctly, this has to be on autofocus. So we'll go on and turn the autofocus on again. As you can notice, I have arrows here. And the, this is slow focusing, the left and right, and the up and down are a little bit quicker focusing. But what I can do is I can take stuff in and out of focus. Now, if you notice, my lens just went out of focus, and I can bring it in to focus like this. So this is a way to keep from actually uh, putting your lens in the M mode, which is manual mode, your lens, and actually going in and, 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 and manually using kind of like uh, on your lens, manually focusing it. I find that to be the most productive way. Um, I don't really like this, this setup. Again, it is loud, but if you're doing off-camera audio, then you should be all right. You're not going to really catch all that, that squeaking noise because when the lens focuses, it, it goes, uh, 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 I guess is the best way to describe it. It's quite, uh, quite annoying and quite loud. So I don't, I don't use this. I always keep this off. And then you can do the focus step size. So this is kind of how fast it's going to focus. If I understand that right, uh, you can go one through three, I believe, with the Canon T3i, one, two, and three. Uh, as well with the trap focus, I think the trap, one of these, the, the, you, you do have some sub-menus that, that, that go along with the follow focus. Uh, focus step delay, again, I really don't understand all of what it does. Hit your info button, you can read up on it. Maybe this will explain to you a little bit more. Again, I have never used any of the items within these uh, within this menu uh, settings. So uh, you have your focus endpoint. You can set up in and out points. I believe if I understand that right, with your trap focus or your follow focus. Uh, you have rack, rack delay. So uh, again, I believe that means it won't start for a few seconds. Sets the number of seconds before starting a rack focus. So this will, uh, before you start doing a rack focus, which you can go in and you can set up your rack focus here. Um, And it's going to start rack focusing. So uh, then it's going to give you three seconds, and it's going to rack focus. And you can set up your stack focus. Again, I don't know in depth how to explain all that to you. Maybe someone can leave a comment so I understood a little bit better, and then I'd be uh, then I could actually go through and uh, and explain it to you guys a little more in depth. So this is one of my weaker points because again I don't use the focus settings nor do I really see a need for it because most all these focus things that, that Magic Lantern has given you the option to, I can do manually just fine. Uh, display, and by the way guys, I will uh, add a link right now, um, and this link will take you to a kind of a rack focus video, and you can actually see how to rack focus manually. So anybody that wants to learn how to rack focus that doesn't necessarily want to use the Magic Lantern settings, I will show, I, there's an actual video I put together that shows you how to do that. Um, all of this is gonna have to do with just Camera settings, uh, you can go in, you can set it to normal, high, uh, very high. Just, it just has to do with your contrast. I leave it on normal. Saturation, high saturation, very high. So you can go in and kind of set your own color settings when you're shooting video. I leave them all on normal. Your EV, um, plus or minus here, and you can go in and mess with that. Um, I think I've got it set to zero. Color scheme, bright, dark bright gray. Again, you can go in and set these. Let's just leave it back to uh, dark green. And again, this has to do with the actual color screen, color scheme of your camera. So if we actually were to go, let's see here, if it actually switched over here. And it may only work with, now if you notice that, if I switch to bright gray, and it just has to do with the actual color screen color scheme of Magic Lantern. Uh, I don't know, I don't think it carries over to the actual uh, camera itself. So now that I've got it on red, uh, let's go out and let's see if I switch it over to... And no, it doesn't do it. So again, this is only a red setup in Magic Lantern. Dark green's pretty nice, so I will keep it there. Uh, overlays, focus box, you can hide it or show it. 
Um, you can force your HDMI, VGA, uh, your screen layout. If you want to go in and set up how you want your screen layout to be, you can do that. Mostly these are just uh, in magic lantern settings that we're kind of going over at the moment. Uh, audio meters, uh, you can turn them on or off if you want to. It's up to you. So all of this stuff has to do with the actual magic lantern display from what I'm gathering. Um, so this is how you're just going to perceive your display in magic lantern. Uh, image review settings, live view zoom settings. Again, these are just all settings right here. You gotta play around with them. I really don't want to go in and explain all the settings, but you can go in and you can set in some, some cool different settings. So things you may or may not need to use. Um, you've got a few other settings over here, screenshots. You can set up a screenshot, menu screenshots. Don't click me, I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything unless they've done something different. It just takes you back out. Uh, Stability test, you can go in and do a quick test. And it's going to go in, I guess, test your stability of Magic Lantern, something I haven't done, but you could go in and do this as well. Task, save your CPU's log. Uh, it's going to give you information about your memory, your shutter count, CMOS temperature. Um, and then the last one is these are all your help menus, if I'm not correct. And that's pretty much Magic Lantern in a gist. If you guys have any questions or something that I skipped or you didn't understand, um, I'm more than happy to try to explain it, I guess. Uh, just leave a comment, send me a message. Uh, check us out on Facebook at David D. Images or Twitter at Media Unlocked. Um, we're always doing updates. I, update, I do pictures. You know, just things that you don't get to see here on the YouTube. I do appreciate everything that you guys have done, all the subscribing and all the views I get daily. It's a blast doing this. Again, if you guys got any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. I hope that this Magic Lantern, three-part Magic Lantern version 2.3 walkthrough helped you out for the Canon T3i. If you have a T2i, there will be a link up uh, above for the Canon T2i walkthrough. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Yeah!